In this video, I'm going to do a complete walkthrough of the software update 2021.24.5. This includes Disney Plus, range display, a whole bunch of new features. Let's get it started. First, we have the Disney Plus added now to the entertainment system. If we go to our entertainment right here in theater, Disney Plus is added. So now you can watch Disney Plus with a valid subscription. Next, we have got the car wash mode, which is a control that you can go to service of your car and change to car wash mode. Again, we'll show that here just in a second. And what this car wash mode does is it essentially locks the charge port, it closes all the windows, it disables the windshield wiper, sentry mode, walk away door lock, and parking sensor chime. So you're not getting any of those alerts while you are in a car wash mode so that your car does not freak out. And it says here that for the automatic car washes with conveyor belts, the free roll option shifts to neutral and prevent the car brake from automatically applying if you leave. So it won't just apply the brake because when you open the door, uh, if, if you are in drive, let's say, and if you open the door, the car brakes automatically apply and put your car into park. So with this car wash more, now it will shift to neutral and prevent the brake from automatically applying if you are in that car wash with conveyor belts. To go into the car wash mode, just go to service right here. If you press on car wash mode, now your car goes into the car wash mode. Then we have the mirror auto dim. Now you can enable or disable the automatic dimming of your mirror. Uh, sometime when your mirror is dim and you don't want them to dim, now you have an option to either automatically, for them to automatically dim or you can disable the automatic dimming of your mirror. To change the auto dim feature, you just have to go to quick controls, mirrors, and right here is your mirror auto dim. So you can turn the auto dim on or off by just going over here in mirror setting. Dash cam improvement. And what this does is now it automatically saves clips whenever your vehicle detects an occurrence of a safety event, such as an accident, airbag deployment, uh, this, these are, you know, when your car thinks there is an accident on the road, instead of you having to press on the horn, uh, it will just automatically save those events. I would still recommend you, you know, double check and just press on that dash cam icon to save events and it would be just like save footage uh, or just, just honk your horn and then it should save. But now this is saying that if Tesla thinks there is an accident, it will automatically save those events on your sentry mode, your dash cam. And it says that it is stored locally and never transmitted to Tesla. So any of those events are just saved in your flash drive, your SSD drive, and it will not be transmitted to Tesla and you can opt in or opt out of this uh, feature by just going to control safety and security, dash cam, auto, um, and you can also check your owner's manual. For, to learn more about the setup and dash cam. I also have a detailed video in this channel which I'll link on how to set up your sentry mode and dash cam. This is the range display. Now you can switch between the miles and percentage of your battery super quickly by just tapping here where it says 200 miles. If I tap, now it says 89%, which is super cool because in the past you have to go to the settings and then change from energy to percentage. So. I am super stoked that Tesla decided to put that in. Now it is super easy to just look at it and see how many miles you have, or if you like seeing the percentage, you can do that from right here. It says remain connected to Wi-Fi in drive. And this is another feature for those of you who use your mobile hotspot or those of you who are in Wi-Fi connected within your house and in the garage or nearby areas where you have the Wi-Fi. What Tesla does right now is if you press on the brake and then if you turn to drive, the, the Wi-Fi gets disconnected and you just have a LTE. So when I put it in drive, you saw that it changed to LTE instead of keeping the Wi-Fi active that I have. Now what this is saying is that I can go to the Wi-Fi here, go to Wi-Fi settings. I have this. Now I can say remain connected in drive. So if I want to remain connected while I'm in drive, well, I'm still have the Wi-Fi signal available. Now, earlier you saw that it went to LTE. Now let's check this feature. Now I'm pressing on brake and I'm putting the car in drive. 
Now, instead of losing that Wi-Fi signal, it is still has it here. Instead of LTE, it's showing the Wi-Fi. So that's pretty great. Again, especially that feature is great if you are using mobile hotspot all the time and you want to be connected to that Wi-Fi. For many reasons, maybe you don't want to pay for the premium connectivity. And if you want to learn more about premium connectivity, I have a video I'll link down below as well. And then there is the new language support. Uh, and then in the last update, 2021-12.25, I got the Skyforce Reloaded here in the test lab. Have you all received this update yet? If so, what do you think about the update? Did you find any other new features that we didn't talk about here or the release note does not show? Because there's often time hidden Easter eggs and things that the release notes won't show, but somebody always discovered those. So if you discover any of those, just let me know in the comment section below. I'm pretty interested. Uh, also, I think this is pretty cool. You know, while we all patiently wait for the new V11 update to roll out, this is at least something that we can currently enjoy. And we haven't had a major upgrade in a really long time from Tesla. So last week's app upgrade and this upgrade today, it definitely is something in the right direction. And I really hope that the V11 update is coming very, very soon. Thank you all for your continued support to my channel. There are lots and lots of Tesla videos coming your way. Lots of interesting and cool product installations coming very soon to my channel. Stay tuned for all of those videos. I'll see you soon in my next video. Namaste.